you're going to need the 3D printed parts. I'll link below as usual. Uh, some screws. Uh, four LED rings. I'll link the sizes below. These aren't exactly the ones I wanted. I wanted this dense of LEDs, but that was all I could get. So I will link that. You'll need a Gemma MO from Adafruit. You need a battery. I want to go with a small one. But if you want longer power and don't mind the weight on your head, you can go with the uh, the larger one. Gonna need some wire, a headband, some Velcro straps, and some glue. By constructing the face pieces, the tolerances are a little tight, so you might have to get in there and sand a little bit. There we go. Snapping together. And then repeat. When you get your faces completed, they should look like that. You're going to have to take your X-Acto knife and run it through there a few times to get everything to fit properly. For the next piece, we're going to take this 3D printed part and attach it to both of the circles. And we're going to glue it and we're going to run screws through them. The only thing you want to keep in mind is the larger part should be forward. And we're going to get the holes lined up. We're going to go ahead and glue it and put the screws in. Snap those guys in place. If you go too far, you can always just push it back up a little bit. The wiring is super simple. The one ear will get the battery, the chip, and two rings, and then the other ear just gets the two rings. Now we're going to work on the right side, which is the easiest part. There's not much in there. The outer ring, you want to make sure the zero LED is right above the head, and just go ahead and uh, tack that in. You need to put in is the diffuser for the face. And then the face LEDs. Just make sure the zeros line up to the other one. I try to get them down on the face. I don't know if you can see that. So the bottom ring is right on the, follows the ring of the face. We're going to let that dry, and then we're going to put the back one. You can either go ahead and super glue that or hot glue it. Uh, you'll never need to get in here unless there's something wrong, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue it. So on the left hand side here, I did exactly the same thing. I did to the right, just leaving the Gemma chip out. Just have... This is the insert we're going to put in. You might have to trim it differently depending on your configuration, but it should just sit in there and that just protects the, the, um, the board from touching anything. I'm going to arrange it so that the battery is easy to access. Originally we were going to have a battery door, which you probably saw earlier in the video, but it just didn't work out and didn't sit properly. And kept breaking. So for this version we went with the velcro and used another just flat plate for the ear. For the next version we'll come up with a better way to turn it on and off and to charge the battery. Maybe some sort of battery door that works. So to use our velcro method for now to turn it off you have to unvelcro it and go ahead and unplug it for now. 
And of course, to turn it back on. Get this just plug her back in. Good to go. It's a little heavy for your head. Uh, maybe in the next version we can think about how to make it lighter.